Other cranes have failed before where this one may succeed. I'm not too sure though. It's a very heavy boat. Uh, but it actually appears to be working. No way. Oh no, no, we're struggling now. Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are checking out this massive mobile crane right here. Um, the actual company, he says this is um, on purpose, but I'm going to go ahead and say that this is <laughs> by accident. Anyway, there should be another R on the end, because that's how the real company is called, or how, how the real company's name is spelt. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take this thing out. We're going to do our normal test, where we try and lift up one of our tugboats with it. And, um, yeah, let's see if we can we can actually make this thing work. All right, so how about we go ahead and get inside? Then we can actually get moving. Oh, it's got push buttons to get inside. What the? Okay, well, that's interesting. Not sure why you would do that, but that's okay. Uh, inside the actual, the, the cockpit, the cockpit, the, the cab. Yeah, it's called the cab. Uh, we've actually got five seats. We got one actual driver's seat. Then we got a passenger seat. And then we got three passenger seats on the other side, which is interesting. Anyway, go ahead and start the gear, start the engine. Lights on, sure, and we're moving. There we go, if we do this. Oh, okay, so I think we've only got a forwards and a reverse. All right, that makes sense. But um, we are actually moving, awesome. Dude, this thing's actually brilliant. I, I like the way it drives, it's awesome. Look how many wheels it's got though. It's got so many wheels. All right, so we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to kind of like park it in the middle, which is gonna be quite interesting. We're just gonna leave it in the middle. Uh, so that we can actually get all of the extensions out when I say extensions. I mean all of its like feet like arms I don't know. I don't know what to explain it as anyway We're gonna go ahead and park it somewhere like right here. Let's go ahead and whack on that handbrake Go ahead and turn off the engine for now turn off the low gear. We're gonna turn off the lights leave the handbrake on Let's get outside. All right, so how do I actually drive this thing? What's this? What is this? That's a connector. All right, we don't need that if we go backwards Do we have to climb on top to actually make this work? I'm not sure where we control this thing from. Up here? Where do we control this thing from? Oh, I found it. I found it. We control it from on the back. <laughs> okay, that's kind of interesting. There we go. Let's get in this little seat. Cabin out. All right, so our cabin goes around the side. Okay, then what do we need to do? We need to boom out, boom in. No, side stabilizers. Five. <gasps> oh, they're big. They're big. Okay, yeah. I think we're in the right place here. That's pretty epic. They're gonna go out. Oh, we're in the perfect position. That's amazing. There we go. All right, so they're all out. Now we should be able to lift it up. There we go. We're booming up. That's pretty epic. That is pretty epic indeed. Press four. There we go. All right, we're now ready to use it. This is gonna be awesome. All right, so since that's all happening, we're gonna leave that right there. It's actually all in the sky. <laughs> that's pretty epic. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get our tugboat, and we'll see if we can lift it. I hope we can. Okay, so I've gone ahead and whacked in the connector right there. If we spawn this thing in, it should be completely fine. And we should be able to attach to it right there. Yeah, we should be able to do this. It is quite far away from where the main body of the crane is, though. That's our only issue right now. Okie dokie, jump back in here. Go ahead and close the door, because we obviously want to close. Go ahead and turn this thing around. Is that working? Yeah, very, very slowly. Uh, we need to boom out as well. Oh, look at that. They all come out of each other. That's epic. That is actually super cool. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and connect to this. And then we're going to attempt to lift it up. Okay, right. We need the winch to go down now, which I think is three. Yes, it is. We need it to go forwards because we're really far away from it. And eventually, let's leave it right there. Oh, wait. Go back. Go back the other way. Slightly. Yeah, that's actually probably okay. I think it'll connect on just like that. Oh, yeah. Is this going to work? It's like directly over it. That's pretty epic. And it's wobbling, so it should be attaching. Here we go. Lower it a little bit more. A little bit more. Come on, attach on. What, am I, what are you doing? What the heck? You're right over it. There's no way it's not attaching from there. The, why? What? That's insane. That's actual insanity. All right, bring it up. There we go. Right, we're connected to it. This is awesome. Right, so, if everybody's ready, let's just attempt to lift it. Not that- Oh, wait, I can't actually see from here. Okay, so we're in the little cab on the side at the back. <laughs> That's so weird looking. Is that actually there on, like, a real crane? Just at the back, tucked in underneath the weight? 
I don't know. Anyway, we're going to try and lift it up first with just the winch. So we're going to press 2. And this is our attempt at lifting. I haven't taken the fuel out of the tug. We've got all of the fuel in it. We've got everything left in it. Other cranes have failed before where this one may succeed. I'm not too sure though. It's a very heavy boat. Uh, but it actually appears to be working. No way. Oh no, no, we're struggling now. We're struggling now. Oh, we are struggling quite badly. Okay, right, you know what? Let it out. Let it out, let it out, let it out. Winch that, oh, boom down, boom down. This is okay. This is fine. What we'll do is we'll attach it back down to the ground. Okay, where it should be. We'll actually bring it backwards so it's closer to us. And then we'll lift it up again. All right, and we're going to drag it to the front as well. So I'm going to actually turn, hopefully bringing it towards the front. This is going to be epic. Here we go. Come on, bring it closer to the dock. This might help us. At the same time, it might not. I don't know. Maybe we should let it out all the way. And we should just boom up fully. I don't know. All right, here we go. Is this going to work? Is this going to work? It's a lot closer to us this time. We are still off the ground with some of our things. Uh, no, it is lifting it. It's totally... We're in the air. We've lifted it. Can we actually bring it onto the ground? No way. Dude, if we could do this, this is awesome. Oh, it's actually working. It's actually worked. We've got the tugboat in the sky. <laughs> We've got the tugboat all the way in the sky. This might be the first actual crane that's able to do this. That is insanity. There's no way this thing just, it just plucked it out of the water completely fine. That's absolutely insane. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to put it now. So how about we, we extend the boom once we've got it over the cab and we'll see how far out the boom can go before we have problems. Cause I think we will start having problems very quickly. Uh, but anyway, the boom is going up. Here we go. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, how high can we actually take this boat? How high can we actually take it? Because that, <laughs> that's higher than I thought it would ever go. I've never managed to lift this boat anywhere near this high before. That is insanity. Look at that. Dude, imagine being on that boat right now. We're going to cause a lot of damage when we drop this. But, you know, let's uh, let's try and not drop it just yet. My camera can't even see it. If I go up here, we, can't, we can just about see the boat, but we can't see anything else. <laughs> it's just all the way up there. There we go. I think we're at our max. I'm pretty sure that's our max. Let's get outside. <gasps> oh! Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> what just happened? What actually just happened? I think the crane snapped. I mean, I don't know what just happened, but the boat's on fire. The whole crane itself is on fire. The thing is moving itself. Okay, it's dangerous to actually be anywhere near this thing. It is still holding it in the air, however, which is actually pretty insane. We're going to quickly jump inside, and we're going to have to try and put it in the water if we can. <laughs> if we can actually get it in the water. All right, here we go. Sit in the seat. Can we still move this thing? Is it still able to move? It is actually still working. At least this bit on the back. Obviously, we can't drive it right now. It's definitely broken there. But it is totally working. Yeah, nice. Oh, dude, it's so on fire, though. I don't have anything to put this thing out with. Don't worry, guys. We can actually put out that fire <laughs> with this thing. What is this? I don't understand. All right. It should drive though, right? Is it going to drive? Does it even move? That's pointing that down. What in the world? What is this thing? All right. We can actually do that. I don't think it moves though. This thing definitely doesn't move. It does move. It's got electric motors. Why isn't it moving? Go. 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 Maybe go now? Go now. Oh, wait. Here it is. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that's normal. <laughs> okay, let's take our little firefighting scooter over there. And uh, we'll get this sorted. We'll actually put out this fire. Maybe. Or probably not. Oh, it's ready to go. Yeah. I don't know how much water this thing holds. But we got this. I think we're just about to uh, actually make it there. That's pretty awesome. We're not going to put out the boat because I think that's... Uh, that's a difficult fire to put out while it's in the sky, but we are going to try and put out the crane. Um, and the reason you might be asking, well, you might be asking why I actually picked this thing. Uh, it's because it's quite skinny, so um, I wanted to be able to get round this, but actually we might be able to drive under it. We're not very tall, or at least I hope we're not tall enough to get, ah, we might be. We're probably tall enough or small enough to get through this. Yeah, 
Because all I want to do is put out a fire. I don't actually know how much water we've got on board of this thing. Uh, I'm going to assume not very much. And we might have already used it. But um, we're going to try our best to put out this fire. <laughs> to put out this fire. Here we go. Right. So I can't stop it. I can't stop it. I can't. Okay. Alright, perfect. So, I mean, this is exactly what we wanted. Turn it off. Turn it off. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right, we turned it off. Push it over. There we go. Oh, yeah. Alright, you just go straight into the fire. That seems like a good idea. I'm dying. Press 4. Alright, it's starting to put out the fire, I think. We've rammed it into the fire and we've put on the fire extinguisher. I have a feeling that that is doing absolutely nothing. Let's push this real quick. Push it. Ready? Oh, yeah. All right, perfect. Um, well, anyway, <laughs> this is the first crane, I think, except from that massive tracked one, that has actually managed to pick up this boat and keep it in the air because it has actually kept it in the air. The boat did eventually break the crane, though, because that bit sort of collapsed on itself and it blew up. But um, other than that, it is an extraordinary crane. I like it. It's very, very good. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to actually end this video here. If you guys want to see more random videos like this one, I guess let me know in the comments down below. Um, but we need some good ideas on what we could do next. You know, what can we do with cranes? I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'll link this down below. I'll link this thing down below if you guys want to, I don't know, check that out for some reason. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.